Hi, I'm Frank from Dandy Engines and uh, we're on the dyno with this 540 big block and uh, you can hear the water bubbling away in the background from the dyno, which means we're going to make some steam. So the engine's a 540 big block and it consists of um, the generic stuff that we use, such as a, a big M dart block, a Kelly's crank, Oliver rods, JE pistons, one of our custom grind cams. It's got a conventional AFR head, which is like 24 degrees. Um, it's got a nice set of rockers on it for durability, nice push rods, jet engineering push rods. And then it's got a, a Jessel belt drive. I like to use a Jessel belt drive, it takes a little bit of harmonic out of the uh, camshaft. And then it's got a Bob Fisher manifold and a blower shop 1071 blower, which everyone loves, and a big and ugly hat. So unlike a traditional blown engine, we're not running mechanical injection that used to have a barrel valve here and pumping the fuel in mechanically. We're gonna do it with EFI. Uh, EFI lets us have a, a lot more control, pumping a bunch of fuel through the blower, and then we can trim cylinder per cylinder with the injectors down at the manifold. So Ken Cello has gotten me to build this engine for his HQ, should be a cool ride, um, obviously with a bit of drag racing in mind and uh, the old power skid. So we started off with E85 tune. Um, we got the fuel tech all dialed in on E85. I think the most we made was like 1,380 horsepower. And then we made a switch to methanol. So if he goes to the racetrack, Ken has the option to run a bit more power. And that allows us to put more timing in the engine. And so far we're at like 1,480. So at the moment we're running 16 pound of boost. Um, that's the pulley ratio that we have at the moment. Uh, we have one more pulley to change. Hopefully it might see 20 pound and we'll be on the limit of the overdrive of the actual blower. So at the moment we're at 1480. We're hoping to touch into the 1500s, 1550. 